Hey guys, Tech Convention with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone iCloud drive taking up a lot of space on your iPhone. If you go into your setting of your iPhone and go into general and then check on iPhone storage here, you might notice that your iCloud drive here takes up a quite a bit of space on here. So we're going to look for our iCloud drive here and see how much space it takes up currently. So we'll see here right now on my iCloud drive here, it's not taking up much because I follow these steps and these are the follow steps you want to follow as well here. So the very first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up on your iPhone the Files app itself. And once you open up Files app, you want to go on Browse here and then click on the Browse option here. And under Locations here, you'll see there's an iCloud drive here. You want to click on it and review everything you have in your iCloud Drive. Now, if you have a tons of stuff on it, especially maybe videos or photos or things you downloaded, you need to start deleting some stuff by pressing and holding and then click on delete and then do the same exact thing. Just go ahead and delete as much as you can. You can also delete complete folders as well from your drive by pressing and holding just like that and you can click on delete and keep on doing that. Now once you have done that, we're gonna go back to the browse option here and then go to recently deleted and see what's been uh, recently deleted. Click on these three dots up top here and then click on select and delete all and then click on delete and it will delete a bunch of your stuff that's on your iCloud drive. Now the next thing to do after you have done that is go into your setting of your iPhone and this time in the setting, we're gonna go to main setting here and then go to our Apple account here, click on that. And once we click on that, we're gonna go click on iCloud here. And under iCloud here, apps using iCloud should show up your iCloud Drive. We're gonna click on iCloud Drive. A Couple things we wanna do here. First thing is we're gonna click on turn off uh, the syncing. So we're gonna turn off the syncing on it. And once you do that, right, you can click on manage iPhone storage and you can click on delete from iCloud if you don't want iCloud Drive storing all of your documents. Now, other thing to do is if you want to keep the syncing on, you go ahead and turn it on again. Right after you turn it on, click on Apps Syncing to iCloud Drive. Now, you want to review the list of apps that are using your iCloud Drive to store information, right? A lot of the apps don't require to be on your iCloud Drive. So go ahead and review the list and then turn off the apps that you don't want. You're gonna turn as much of the apps as you can and then go ahead and go back to your settings here. And this time, hopefully after you go back into your settings, go to general, right, and iPhone storage. That iCloud storage drive should now completely go down or not be taking up as a lot of space that it was in the past. And that's how I was able to get my iCloud drive storage to go down here. Of course, these are going to be the troubleshooting steps you want to follow. Uh, another thing to do is a quick uh, first restart on your iPhone. And for this case, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then come over and hold this side button just like that. And make sure you press volume up, followed by volume down quickly one after another before holding on to this side button. We're going to wait for the screen to go completely black. And once we see the Apple logo appear, we will let go of that side button. And all it's doing is shutting down the phone software, reloading the code. So if a software related bug or glitch impacting that iCloud storage to take up a lot of space, it'll clear that out and we should see a less number taking up less space on our iPhone. And once you're back on, go ahead and enter your passcode and you should be good to go. And I hope this video was helpful. If so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.